we go again, YouTube. Uh, coming back at you for some more videos. Hope y'all had a good Christmas and a good New Year's. Uh, ready to get back after it and uh, show y'all some more stuff we got going on here. So uh, today's topic is going to be about going heavy duty. That's right. We're going heavy duty. But uh, before we get all into going heavy duty and uh, talking about how uh, another product we got out here that's uh, probably a lot of people don't know about, be sure to hit the subscribe button down there in the bottom right hand of the screen. Um, you know, stay in tune for in, in touch for more videos and be sure to smash the thumbs up signal down there on the bottom. Make make sure you like it or make sure you don't like it, but preferably we'll want you to give us a thumbs up and let us know that you are liking it. So here we go, we're going heavy duty today. Uh, already got with you about a pressure switch. Um, you know, we got a video on this, on these guys here. It's the most common uh, pressure switch out on the market made by Square D. How to adjust it, everything about it. Already done all that. But we're going heavy duty. Square D also makes a heavy duty version of the pump troll switch. Alright. So, let's get this thing going here and just kind of show you the size difference here. So here's our standard one. I'll put a link up there in the uh, top right hand corner of the screen if you want to go check that video out about how to adjust it. Here is the heavy duty version. Oh yeah. So you can see the size difference. Uh, the connection is still the same. It's still a, a quarter inch uh, female pipe thread connection. Um, this switch actually has two access holes on each side and one in the back. Um, versus the standard square D pump troll uh, standard switch that only has two holes on each side. Take this cover off for you here. Um, you can see the difference. Um, got a very heavy duty spring on it. Um, you can get these switches set for whatever pressure you want, 30, 50, 40, 60, but um, these nuts and these springs here you can actually uh, adjust to a higher pressure. Uh, I've ran some of these up for people that want to bump their pressure. Um, we have some of these that are pushing 90 pounds. Um, the points are actually, we'll come in here and see if y'all can see this, but the points are actually, you can see they're a whole lot more heavy duty. Um, these are these are handled, you know, these are able to handle about uh, 20 amps versus the standard switch is able to handle about 12 amps. Then obviously you got bigger, um, you know, holes and, and screws here so you can uh, not only get bigger wire in here but have have a little bit easier access to it as well um, so just wanted to bring that out there to you and uh, make that aware for all of y'all if um, you know something you know typically this isn't an issue but there are um, instances where you know if you do have a bigger pump um, these these come in handy uh, they can they can handle higher amp draws they can handle more circuits uh, or you know more cycles of your pump going on and off um, versus the, the the standard switch uh, that's that's typically used. Uh, the, again, I'm not saying there's anything wrong with the switch. There's nothing wrong with the switch. Um, you know, we we still use them and believe in them, and everybody else believes in them too. Um, but you know, sometimes uh, if you've got a pump that's you know three horsepower or two horsepower, uh, you know, pulling a, a higher amp draw, these switches are going to come in handy for you, as well as. Uh, what I brought up to you earlier with is, uh, you know, the the ability to ramp the pressure up with these because they have a, a, a larger spring uh, that, that has more room to be compressed. Uh, therefore, you have more adjustment in this switch than you do the smaller switches. So, y'all want to go heavy duty out there? I know somebody's out there is going to leave a comment about it. Um, but just wanted to go over this little guy. It's a, it's a neat... It's a neat booger. Uh, you don't you don't see it a whole lot out there, uh, but they are for sale, and they're really not a whole lot. And I think they're double the price or so of the standard switch, but not a whole lot more, um, considering considering what you're getting. So that is an option out there. I wanted to make that available to you. I know I said that a couple of times. So I'm gonna quit saying that. Um, but thanks for watching. Be sure to check us out at WendellyWellServices.com. Hit that subscribe button. Smash the thumbs up on there video here and stay tuned for more videos. Thanks for watching.